If I left the door open at my house, without a doubt, we would have squirrels and cats running through our house. We have many squirrels near us, including an albino squirrel. These squirrels come right to our windows and doors and taunt our dogs. It's like they come by daily to say hello. We also had a cat trying to get in our front door the other day and our dog Yankee was not having it. We even had a bird try to get in our door the other day and flew right into the glass doors. I'm glad we're a welcoming house, but come on already. As cute as these squirrels are, I don't think things would go so well if they came inside. Same goes for the cat, my wife's allergic. And do I have to say anything about the bird? I don't think there are any real threats here, but if there ever was anyone with evil intent trying to break into our house, we would have to make sure that the doors were secured by closing them fully and engaging the locks. If that person were to get their foot in the door just a little bit and keep it from fully engaging, they would probably be able to gain entry into our home. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 and 7 says, In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. There is an evil perpetrator who is trying to gain entry into our homes and our lives. And it's the devil. While we have victory over Satan because we are covered with the blood of Jesus as children of God, we can open the door to the enemy. This scripture says one way we do that is by not properly handling anger in our lives. Anger is the great inward motivator and that motivating force that leads to evil and sin. Billy Graham once said this, hot heads and cold hearts never solved anything. James, the Lord's brother said, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Listen, we may get angry from time to time, and this is a valid emotion. However, in our sin or in our anger, we must still be self-controlled and not sin. Paul goes on to say that we must deal with our anger in a timely fashion. Don't let your anger spill over into your tomorrow. When we do this, we give the devil an opportunity to gain entrance into our lives and wreak havoc. So when you pray, give your anger over to the Lord and deal with it today. If you don't, it can affect everything in your life. Would you find freedom from anger in Jesus today?